here we got super simple power circuit. This big silver thing is battery from uh, Xiaomi M365 when fully charged is 42 volts and this is exactly what we need. The power wire from the battery is going into this small adapter from XT30 to XT60 connector. Then the power wire is going to electronic switch. This one is actually from Flipsky, very useful thing because we can easily disconnect battery from other electronic parts. Then power wire is going to controller, so of course this one is powering the motor. And I added over here LCD voltage meter, so when we we'll turn on electronic switch, we can see how much juice left in the battery. Right now it's 28%. So this circuit is pretty simple and I guess because of it, it will work quite a long time. So if I turn off, then we disconnected battery from other equipment. Super nice. And also as a charging connector, I use simple jack. This one is widely used as a charging port. I have no idea why it's called jack. It's just round. I also designed that kind of adapter. We'll place all the ports and the voltage meter over here. Then it will go on the battery, so it will look very tight and clean. You can find the files in the description. Second adapter looks like this. So this one will actually hold the battery. It will be between battery and the motor shell. And we have just to tie this belt on the screws. Actually, I'm not sure if you can see, but the screws are tilted to the bottom, so the belt will not detach itself. This battery is pretty heavy because it's an aluminum case, but check this one out. No problem. Whoa, this battery is so heavy. Actually, grass is still a little bit wet, but not a big deal. 